Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to share some really interesting facts about Roman civilization. Before starting the video, consider subscribing, hit the like button and one more thing, share this video with your friends to get more knowledge about history. Well, starting from what kind of people Romans were, in fact, there were three main classes of people in ancient Rome, the patricians, the plebeians and the slaves. A Roman was born into his or her class. Well, the patricians provided the empire's political, religious and military leadership. On the other hand, plebeian referred to all free Roman citizens who were not members of the patrician, senatorial or equestrian classes. Plebeians were average working citizens of Rome, like farmers, bakers, builders or craftsmen, who worked hard to support their families and pay their taxes. The third type of Romans were slaves. They might include prisoners of war, sailors captured and sold by pirates, or slaves bought outside Roman territory. Now let's talk a bit about Roman lifestyle. Well, Romans enjoyed an extravagant lifestyle with luxurious furnishings surrounded by servants and slaves to cater to their everyday desire. Many would hold exclusive dinner parties and serve their guests the exotic dishes of the day. Poorer Romans, however, could only dream of such a life. As far as the layout of the Roman city is concerned, the Romans built towns in exactly the same style. They were designed in the form of a grid, with streets built at right angles to each other and parallel with one of two main roads. The Roman towns were full of fine buildings and temples. The Romans liked everything to be organized and orderly. Streets were laid out in neat straight lines like on a chessboard. In the middle, there was a large square called the Forum. It was used as a marketplace and for meetings. It had shops and offices on three sides and government offices on the fourth side. Many towns had running water and sewers. Aqueducts were bridges for bringing waters to the town. The Roman aqueduct was a channel used to transport fresh water to highly populated areas. Aqueducts were amazing feats of engineering of that era. A large aqueduct supplied fresh spring water from the nearby mountains through lead pipes buried under the street pavements to water towers. Water was then piped to public and private buildings. Roman baths are also one of the most interesting things. Like other public baths of Roman Empire, men and women bathed separately, going through a series of rooms with water at different temperatures. Here, let me share an interesting fact that this heating system, known as hypercost, more common in public baths, actually used a furnace to force heat into a series of hollow chambers between the ground and the floor, and up pipes in the wall heating the rooms. It is considered the world's first central heating. Now, as we all know that roads play a vital role in a country's economic development, let's talk about Roman roads. The Roman roads were notable for their straightness, solid foundations, cambered surfaces, facilitating drainage and use of concrete made from volcanic ash and lime. Well, Roman army was responsible for the maintenance of roads between settlements. Now, as we have started the talk of army, the Roman army was one of the most successful in the history of the world. The Roman Empire had become powerful because of the strength of its army. It had conquered a vast empire that stretched from Britain all the way to the Middle East. That is largely because the army was very advanced and skilled. The soldiers were very well trained. They had the best weapons and armor. If you're wondering about how Romans used to educate their children, well, traces have been found that while the poor in ancient Rome did not receive a formal education, many still learned to read and write. They were taught Latin and Greek and some basic arithmetic. 
children from rich families were well schooled and were taught by a private tutor at home or rented rooms or public spaces we have gathered some facts about roman slavery as well the evidences have been taken from pompeii archaeologists have discovered slave quarters at the ancient site of pompeii the room which is uniquely well preserved sheds a light on what life was like for enslaved people during the roman empire the great amphitheater at pompeii tells a lot about roman entertainment archaeologists have uncovered an outdoor stone amphitheater at pompeii which could seat over 20000 people on tiered seats around an arena physically fit male slaves called gladiators staged armed contests or games which were sometimes fought to the death of the entertainment of the roman crowd more than 11000 samples of graffiti were discovered during the excavations of the city of pompeii the first set of graffiti was discovered back in the 1800s and archaeologists have been studying them since then these contain mostly name tags but also include greetings messages obscenities codes from famous literary works drawings of animals and gladiators numbers dates and prices the language on graffiti is latin which continued to be used as an official language long after the fall of the roman empire coming to the government of rome originally the city of rome had kings but eventually they were expelled and replaced by a republic the republic gave certain rights to roman citizens but these varied throughout roman history and included different numbers of people at different times the citizens in roman republic could vote and contest in elections own property and make legal agreements marry another roman citizen and have children who would be roman citizens not pay some taxes Well that's all from Roman Empire if you like the video make sure to like the video and don't forget to hit subscribe see you again in another exciting video till then farewell